On Friday night, the Boston University Terriers men's soccer team opened up the 2018 season with a game in Nickerson Field against the Rams of the University of Rhode Island. The game stayed scoreless through the first 19 plus minutes, but the Rams would strike first at the 20th minute mark. Ludwig Benko scored the goal for the Rams, assisted by Dominic Richter, to make it 1 0 Rhode Island. Terriers would threaten offensively over the course of the first half, but could not find the back of the goal. And at halftime, URI led BU one to nothing. Terriers had a lot of possession and good offensive chances in the second half, but unfortunately could not find the back of the net against the URI keeper, Roger Penske. Penske ended up making three saves in the game, while Mike Bernardi on the other side for BU made four stops. URI would add a late second goal in the contest, scored by Simon Trishka to make it 2 0 Rhode Island. And again, the Terriers would threaten as the second half wound down. In the end, the Terriers had eight shots, three of them on goal, outshot by the Rams 9 to 8. So the Terriers open up the season with the 2-0 loss against the Rams, falling to 0-1 on the year. BU will be back in action on Monday night when they will take on their crosstown rival on the road, the Boston College Eagles. And the next time the Terriers will be at home will be Friday, August 31st, when they welcome in the UMass Lowell Riverhawks. Standing by with BU head coach Neil Roberts after a 2-0 loss to begin the 2018 season. And coach, from my vantage point, uh, the numbers might not say, hey, we had a ton of shots on goal, but it seemed as if the offense was, was working hard. What did you like from what you saw from your team out there? Obviously, the second half was much better. We moved the ball quicker. We, we pinned them in. We, we did what we wanted to do. You know, we didn't get the goal. We had chances. Uh, you know, we knew we were pushing forward, and that could have caused some problems. But... Um, you know, there was a lot of good stuff in that second half that I that I really liked, especially the, you know, the the possession. If you if you think of our first half possession compared to our second half possession, it's it's night and day. So that we can take forward. You know, with the mistakes that we made, you know that that we have to correct. You know, the 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 two goals were stoppable. You know, give the guy the credit, especially in the first one. Great shot, great mm -hmm. turn. You know, but. You know, we can't have guys running off our shoulder, and, and we've got to be disciplined about that. So that's something that hopefully we can correct. Um, but, um, you know, there's a lot, a lot of pluses to take out of it. You know, I, I, I like to fight. I like the possession. But, you know, you never want to lose at home 2 nothing. And, and, you know, it, uh, it would have been nice to get one, a goal just to tie it up and see what was going to happen. You know, I, I think we looked inexperienced out there. Some of the decisions we made in the final third went, went fantastic. So hopefully we can get better at that. And, uh, you know, it'll create goals, you know. Boston College on Monday, always a, a tough rivalry game. What do, you, what, do you, what do you tell your team in the days leading up to that one? Yeah, we, we'll, we'll deal with that tomorrow. I mean, you know, this is a work in progress, so we just got to get better. If we can start the game like we started the second half, we'll be happy. Uh, and, and then I think we'll start to create some chances and, and get some goals. You know, like I said, I think that we really – we really did some good things in that second half, and we just got to take them and, and bring it forward. But we got to we got to stop the mistakes. Like I said, both you know, defensively, BC is a very uh, attacking team. Uh, so if we don't track, we don't do the right simple things, then it's going to be a problem. And you know, we got to be more disciplined. We can't have a center back getting you know yellow cards out of nothing and creating problems. And you know, you you know when you're playing in a tough game, you can't play with a yellow card because you make one bad tackle and all of a sudden we're down a man. So, you know, that group is going to be more disciplined to be able to, to, to have us be successful. All right, thank you, Coach. Good luck right. on Monday. Right.